بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله الإخوة والأخوات الزملاء والزميلات أطباء المختبرات الطبية الذين تحضرون معنا هذه المناسبة سلام من الله وبركاته طيب عليكم ورحمته تعالى وبركاته وأسعد الله مساءكم ومساءنا بكل خير أسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى أن نوفق جميعا فيما نروم ونصب إليه كنا قد بدأنا منذ بضع حلقات في مدارسة موضوع ضبط الجودة في المختبرات الطبية Quality Control in Health Laboratories وانتهينا إلى نهاية موضوع ضبط جودة الخدمات الرقمية أو الكمية Quality Control of Quantitative Laboratory Services And today it is the third of standard discussion on quality control of quantitative, qualitative and semi-quantitative laboratory services. If I'm successful to present the matter in front of you, and if you are also effectively attending and getting the use of this presentation, at the end, everyone will be able to differentiate between built-in and additional con or traditional controls. These are the both qualities of quality control materials utilized in the laboratories for the qualitative and semi-quantitative laboratory services. Again, everyone will be able to describe how to use stock cultures for microbiology QC adopted in microbiological laboratory to maintain quality of the services. And also you'll be able to discuss the use of quality control procedures for stains uh, used in microscopic examination. And you'll be able finally to describe methods for verifying performance of microbiological, microbiological media, cultural media used to cultivate and isolate and identify and the susceptibility testing of the isolated microorganisms in the laboratories for diagnostic purposes. Uh, I would like to present in front of you a scenario. The solution of that scenario and the discussion which will come from your side will indicate positive and effective participation and attendance of your, uh, of your side to this occasion of training uh, course. Laboratory A performs the culture and Ceremonia Saragunosa is identified. What quality control measures can you use to confirm that the isolated uh, the isolate is correctly identified. To identify that, that laboratory has successfully identified, isolated and identified the microorganism which it named Cerebona serenginosa. I'm not expecting currently the solution and the answer, but by the presentation of this issue, I am waiting for your solutions from everybody of you, the as attendees, before issuing the certificate for everybody. The quality management system uh, which we are discussing, one of the elements of it is actually driven from ISO 1589 as we had presented before and uh, that ISO 1589 is designed and edited by WHO in collaboration with CSSI and they made that practical uh, form and training tool which we are discussing now. And the issue of quality control actually lies within what is known as process control in this element, process control. Uh, qualitative or semi-quantitative laboratory examinations uh, are microscopic examinations and deep sticks, deep sticks used in microbiological or sometimes in clinical laboratory, chemical laboratories, and serologic pro procedures that are used that are used in the serological laboratories or sometimes in microbiological laboratories and microbiological procedures, microbiological procedures of cultivation, isolation, identification of markers are the susceptibility testing that used to identify 
the search of the antibiotics to be selected as treatment to the different infections in the laboratory. Uh, together with any actions that produces non-numerical, non-numerical results that produce reports which are not associated with values and numerics. Important concept to consider when dealing with this issue, uh, you need to well manage the samples, sample management. All the aspects and elements that, uh, that is completing the, the, the issue of sample management should be considered prior to start controlling the uh, quality of qualitative and semi-quantitative procedures. If samples are not well managed, then wrong samples will be processed in the laboratories and no use for that process because eventually the results will be uh, defective and will be wrong. And that is due to the samples uh, unsuitable for examination. Uh, it's also necessary for the staff working in the laboratory specifically or especially those who are co co concerned with the control of laboratory procedures to be competent enough to carry out that function and the competence includes the qualifications and speciality and the well training uh, systems effective training that uh, provides them with the needed experience and skills otherwise no achievement will take place it is very necessary for the equipment and different technologies adopted and used in the laboratories to be well maintained and well managed. Management of health technology is very necessary for every or any laboratory or any healthcare services that are provided to the clients. Mismanaging or lack of management of different health technologies, uh, whether in the laboratory or any other sector, will never, will never indicate a positive situation of those who are providing to serve their client effectively. So, if technology are not well managed, nothing will be achieved positive in the laboratories or any other department within the health sectors. It is very necessary to control all the materials used in the laboratories, all the materials, consumables, and as we said, equipment, and even the logistics and, and the environment in which people are providing their services. If any defect is there, many types and elements of, 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 of defects may, may affect the quality of services and quality of the, of, the, of the procedures that are adopted in the laboratory to provide the services to the different clients. Stains, media and reagents should be managed. Managed to assure the quality of those materials used to achieve the sources and to achieve their well performance so as to achieve defective materials, I would like to say this, any defective materials which are not meeting the standards will never achieve the goals and our targets will not be ach uh, achieved. Uh, records should be developed and kept and managed well in the laboratories because it is the information that is provided by the, to, the, to the clients by the laboratories and it is the information that will lead to the effective and suitable and reliable performance of the laboratory. So, well managing and well development of the records which are maintained with the suitable and appropriate manner is very necessary to achieve the goals of uh, controlling the quality of uh, laboratory in the area of qualitative and semi-quantitative procedures. Quality control materials used in this concept are of categories, different categories. One of them is built-in control. And uh, these are the controls uh, included within uh, the kits and reagents that are obtained commercially from the market. Uh, control materials that mimics patient samples, and these are mainly developed by different laboratories through the isolates or through the, the, the materials and the samples which they have examined after understanding their performance and the reactivity can be used as controls in the laboratories. And the reference organisms which are internationally distributed, developed internationally, and one of the, of the bodies that's concerned uh, the, with distribution of these uh, materials in different laboratories uh, worldwide is WHO. WHO, but some reference laboratories also are concerned with this. Uh, distributing reference organisms and they have very specific and stable criteria to maintain that function. 
uh, built-in controls are integrated into the design and development and manufacture of the test kits uh, uh, that are obtained from the mar market by different laboratories. So they are part of that kit used in the laboratory. They are actually part of the kit used in the laboratory. And that type of built-in control material is automatically analyzed and run uh, together with the, with, the, with the run and the examination of patient samples because it's included as part of the work of the agents. And that control needs to be assessed, to assess certain criteria, certain criteria, and certain aspects of kit's performance. And it doesn't assess all the aspects or the entire processes of the, of the kits used in the laboratory. I must say this, say this because it is very necessary and they are so insufficient to be utilized. They should be associated with other types of control materials which can cover the other aspects uncovered by these control materials. It is very necessary for all laboratories to understand this. Additional controls or traditional controls. Traditional controls are materials with non-reactivity. And the mimic patient surface, which is a very essential requirement actually for the control materials to mimic the, lab, the, the, the patient surface, so as to overcome the, aspect, the, the, the what's known the matrix, matrix which illustrates and indicates this variation between within, the, within one system between the controls and the materials. And if the control materials are not well representing the samples, they are not eligible for used uh, for use in the control of the surfaces. Uh, if you are using traditional controls, you need to assess them, uh, to assess the integrity and suitability of those controls for the entire test runs. And they, are it, uh, they actually can't cover the entire, the entire test system. And this is unlike the previous built-in control materials. I would like to say, if you are obtaining all this from the market, the built-in control materials, try to associate and to obtain locally by yourself the traditional control because these have the, the advantage of uh, assessing the entire uh, system that you are using, the entire uh, kits that you are using in the laboratory. Use additional uh, traditional controls. Using traditional controls, uh, test as per patient samples in the same way which you use to, do, to, 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 uh, to analyze and to test the patient samples. Use the positive and negative controls of traditionally developed uh, controls to cover the old situation and the old range and dimensions of the analytical system. I include a weak positive control for immunological procedures. If those controls are used for the immunological procedures, it is very necessary to close or to, to, to include within the run weekly positive control materials so as to point out the capability of, of your system to point out and to control the values if they are in as scanty or in trace forms. Choose positive controls uh, close to the cutoff value. Cut of values indicates the abnormality, it indicates the limit between the, the normal situation within the abnormal, uh, with the un abnormal situations. And the cutoff also indicates the, the, uh, the clinical decision that is undertaken by, the, by those who are taking care of the patients. So, control should be able to point out and to cover that cutoff uh, value. This is the quality of the control to be selected for use in the laboratories. Include control to monitor extraction phase. Extraction phase is one of the indispensable and necessary phases take, uh, carried out in the microbiology in the molecular biological laboratories, namely when perform per polymerase chain reaction. Polymerase chain reaction procedures PCR. And this is the step of, uh, of, of extracting uh, nucleic acid, either DNA or, or RNA, which will resemble finally the, 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 the samples which will be handled in the laboratories to diagnose the different cases. So, 
uh, there should be a control of a specific DNA that is needed by the laboratory so as to indicate that the sample or the extracted RNA is actually representing the case and it's one the one needed for analysis in the laboratory. A stock culture for QC. Uh, stock cultures include reference strain. As we said before, reference strain are actually referenced because they are internationally developed by identified and certified and certified bodies, reference laboratories or collaborating centers of WHO all around the world. Uh, uh, reference strain routinely include uh, in, 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 the, in, the, in the minimum level of them uh, E. coli, reference E. coli, Escherichia coli, and reference uh, Staphylococcus aureus and uh, reference Cetamonas aeruginosa. And these are uh, suitable and satisfactory for controlling routine, routine procedures in microbiological laboratories. The stochastic also include in house developed strains. In house developed strains isolated by specific laboratories or by uh, named laboratory uh, the laboratory that's isolating its own and uh, identifying its isolate should keep some clearly identified and defined strains to be used as control this is an in-house in-house uh, strains or in-house control uh, predictive reactions in a stains uh, in a stains and media predictable reactions crystal cultures are used to point out the predictable reactions in stains and media for example uh, if, if you want to identify and to, 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 to point out the reactability or the action of the, of the, of the, of the, of the test strain on the Maconkey or any indicator culture media or on uh, uh, stains like gram stain or red stain so you need to, to obtain stock cultures uh, uh, cultures of specific organisms that are uh, applying or that are achieving the same reaction to test those procedures because it is very necessary to, to, to set and to, to prove the quality of the materials that you are using if you, the, the, the materials uh, like stains of culture media or any reagents that you are using in the laboratory, if they are not meeting the standards, then never wait for correct results in the laboratory. Uh, stock cultures uh, ensure media, reagents, and supplies work in as intended. By using a stock cultures, you need to evaluate the quality of, you are able to evaluate the quality of the culture media and the reagents and other supplies and indicate that they are working well and in the, uh, in, the, in, the, in the ideal manner and that they are reliable and the services that are obtained by utilizing those materials can be accepted in the laboratory. Uh, sources for obtaining uh, reference, uh, reference strains, sources that are providing the reference strains, as we said before, ATCC, uh, American Type Cultural Collection, American Type Cultural Collection, as we said before, and uh, national type culture collection from UT from UK and then CIP Pasteur Institute collection from France and those traditionally and historically used to provide or to develop a reference uh, organisms and reference cultures that are distributed by specific and certified distributors all around the world like WHO which used to, to, to distribute such strains to the different uh, country to maintain the quality of the microbiological uh, procedures that are carried out in this laboratory is specifically uh, in the, uh, when uh, outbreaks used to take place from time to time. Uh, stains are important. Stains are important, actually. Take care when you are using stains. If defective and wrong stains are being used, then the, 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 the culture will the, then the results will surely be wrong. On the left, uh, continued attention is paid, and this result in that it is used are kept useful and clean, and they are labeled, and every type of, of vial is known through the contents 
and through the, the, the life that is set and fixed on it and the uh, validity and quality of those materials are also indicated within those labels but on the right no attention is taken and uh, quality of that of those materials are uns uh, is, un uh, is uncertain and uh, the, the area and the hygiene is very bad with dirt and eventually those chemicals are not cared for uh, everyone and the contamination may take place due to, 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 to that the, the situation is not clean and if stains are contaminated it, it, the process will be very very defective because cont contamination will cause that what's known by carry over carry over it is very necessary for quality stains quality stains to be uncontaminated because the contamination will resemble uh, the, 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 the target organisms that we are going to examine under the microscope and also cross reactivity will take place when such strains are detected and examined uh, stain management use established procedures for preparation and reconstitution of stains preparation of stains and reconstitution should be prepared and reconstituted in a standard uh, way it are standard methods certified and professional method adopted by everybody to assure the quality of those uh, stains because it is very grave as we, as we said before to use uh, stains with bad quality label contents uh, contents and concentration the label should be labeled on, on, on the vials containing different stains should, should, should indicate contents and concentration of the, of the chemicals and date on which uh, th these stains have been prepared and the date on which these reagents have been placed in service I, uh, meaning that the, the first day they have been utilized and the expiration date and then the initials initials of the components of that chemical or of the stain like gram stain it is very satisfactory to use GC or GS to stand for gram stain and ZN to stand for xylenism stains but those initials should be identified by the concerned people who are using and utilizing those stains uh, stains should be proper uh, should be properly stored so as to maintain the integrity of them if they are misstored then they may get bad and if there is no internal quality procedures used to assess and to, and to, 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 to assure the quality of those stains they may be used why they are not suitable for using the laboratories quality control for stains as appropriate for particular stains as appropriate for particular stains check with known organisms or cells for example if you are using gram stain it is very necessary to have a control that is certified and known with the reactivity on this uh, against the stain use gram positive stains and gram negative stains and finally gram positive should indicate positive and gram stains should if you gram uh, and, and uh, gram negative organisms should indicate on the microscope negative this indicates that all the components of the stain are working well and the overall stain is good and you need also to see on the, on the, on the microscope or under the microscope the clear and clean fields indicating no contamination and no deposits and no threats because those are defective findings which will uh, indicate the unsuitability of the stains and similar chemicals in the laboratory uh, examine the stains for crystal for crystal threads or for, for precipitation then examine for contaminants such as bacteria and fungi it is very grave for the stain to be, to be contaminated by bacteria because they are used for detection of bacteria and to study the, 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 the morphology of the bacteria so if they are uh, contaminated by, 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 by bacteria those contaminants will interfere with the finding which should be reported by the laboratory analysts. Uh, the scenery on the, on, the, on, the, on the left indicates good quality of stain, indicating clear, clear field, 
and with good reactivity macros which are gram positive are very clearly uh, defined and bacteria also are clearly identified but the one on the right is a poor quality of uh, of stain using the laboratory indicating threads and uh, deposits if microbes are present in the material to be examined then it will be difficult to differentiate and to identify whether those uh, microbes detected by microscope are contaminating or contaminating the, 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 the strain or are they coming from the sample of the patient so the, di the diagnosis will be difficult uh, QC of microbiology media to, set uh, to, to, to maintain the quality or to study the quality of, of microbiological media in the laboratory you need to, ver to verify performance of all media performance of all culture media in-house prepared all batches if you are having in-house made media you need to, pre to, uh, to, to examine all batches uh, in the laboratory and if they are commercially only target the lots when you change the lot it should be before utilizing that lot it should be uh, tested and evaluated that is because the commercially obtained cultural media are developed by uh, manufacturers and factories which have satisfactory facilities to maintain the quality of the products that uh, they are using and they are producing and that those products have been pre-examined and evaluated and controlled in the manufacture in the, in the, in the, in the factories before releasing uh, for sale but the, the in-house developed uh, materials are not previously, exam previously examined moreover the situations and facilities used to develop them are quite scanty so it is very necessary to promptly evaluate and uh, validate those materials developed in-house uh, the both scenarios indicate quality control of Marconkis agar plate Marconkis agar the scenery on the right indicates gram positive control gram positive bacteria control which has which has been cultivated on the Marconkis agar indicating uh, lactose fermenting colonies and the one on the hand indicates uh, lactose non fermenting colonies uh, which are grown on the alkaline medium and no change of color media problems to avoid the common problems that arouse on the media so as to, 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 to overcome are outdated media and uh, dried out cultural media and contaminated media outdated media should never be used because the diet and the nourish which has been placed on those media to 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 to, to support the growth of the micros may be out of date may be spoiled so they will never no guarantee of that they will support the, 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 the organism because cultural media is developed to support the growth of different uh, organisms that we target to study dried out media also the knowledge and the diet available on the prepared plates of cultural media are absorbed and utilized by different microorganisms and to absorb them there should be a suitable amount of water and moisture to facilitate absorption and utilization of the of the cultural media and the the diet which is placed for the microbes on the cultural media uh, to, to, to support the growth of the microbes if they are highly dry it will be difficult for the microbes to utilize that cultural media to support themselves for growth contaminated cultural media are, are also highly risky to use because cultural media should be sterile and only the contaminating and the infectious materials which are in the patient's sample should find the way to grow in the cultural media so if the media is contaminated after incubation the contaminants will find the way to grow 
which will make it different, difficult for the analyst in the laboratory to differentiate between the, the culture, the, the, contamin the contaminants and the isolates which come from the patient's sample. So the diagnosis would be difficult to, 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 to achieve in this situation. Human blood is sometimes used to prepare what's known blood agar culture media. And blood is used to enrich culture media specifically for the, uh, for the uh, organisms that need special requirements for, to, to, to grow. Uh, but using human blood is risky actually and it has some drawbacks and that is Due to that, human blood may contain antimicrobials on or any, any other inhibitors or antibodies which will inhibit and interrupt the growth of microorganisms. Uh, Moreover, they may contain some microbes like uh, HIV and hepatitis B and C, which may uh, make it hazardous to be used by, the, by those in the laboratories as contamination may take place and infection may also affect those who are working in the laboratory. Quality control of growth media. Uh, keep records for media prepared in-house. Any culture media that have been de developed in-house should be associ associated by satisfactory information uh, about the chemicals and about the contents and the, 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 the materials used to develop and the quality of those materials actually and the date uh, which, uh, on which they have been developed to indicate the quality of those materials before being uh, used. Record outcome in a dedicated media logbook. All the outcome. Dedicated logbook, specific logbook which has been set for uh, reporting and recording the criteria and the specification of, the de of, the, of, of home developed culture media. Uh, the information to be placed on that logbook should include, uh, but not restrict the pH, sterility, and ability to support growth uh, using stock cultures. But the growth using stock culture for, for sure, as we said before, and the bio biochemical response of stock uh, culture on the culture media. Stock culture on the culture media used. Those should be indicated and ready accessible to those who are uh, in need of that culture media or come to utilize that culture media to assure that these materials are of good quality before starting to utilize them in the laboratories. Otherwise, never attempt to use culture media or such products with no satisfactory information indicating the quality of them. Uh, frequency of testing and performing quality control procedures of culture media. Test each new batch or lot number. Each new batch or lot number should be uh, tested for quality. Uh, to summarize what we have discussed, qualitative test procedures are non-numerical results or produce non-numerical uh, results. Results. Uh, Semi-quantitative tests give an estimate, not real values, not cor uh, correct values, and not accurate values, but it, uh, they are just an estimates, but they are still acceptable. Uh, establish a QC program for quantitative and semi-quantitative tests. This is the same story like uh, as that of uh, semi uh, of that of quantitative laboratory procedures. Uh, QC program need to be developed in all cases because it's very necessary and it's actually impossible to, 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 to control those services in the laboratory without developing an effective and integrated quality control program understood by everybody and adopted by everybody working in the laboratory. The key message that I would trust, uh, to, to rouse that QC procedures followed by all the staff in the laboratory. Nobody is excluded from applying and adopting the procedures concerned uh, with, with, with uh, quality control procedures. Always record QC results and corrective actions taken uh, 
taken to overcome uh, or to, re to, to resolve the, 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 different or, uh, the different problems aroused and different problems discovered by applying the quality control measures. If QC results are not acceptable or out of control, never attempt to report patient results and the same story like quantitative quantitative laboratory services. Again, to remind you, this project, uh, this, uh, these materials have been withdrawn from ISO 1589, and also this uh, ISO is the national uh, quality management system of health laboratories in Sudan, adopted five minutes uh, earlier by the Federal Ministry of, of Health. To make sure that you have positively attended and successfully attended this presentation, attended this course, I'm waiting for uh, from your side uh, for the for the for the uh, solutions and answers to those questions before issuing your certificate. Quantitative uh, qualitative examinations are those that are that uh, that are used or that use methods with a little likelihood of errors and they use proce that, you, uh, that, that procedure of non-numerical results use statistical tools to establish normal range are only found in textbooks you point out the, 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 the correct answer positive, weak positive and negative uh, negative controls should be run on immunology or serology procedures for the following uh, for the following reasons except to verify that positive results are, are valid to ensure that weak reactions are detected to ensure that the agents have not uh, have not expired to indicate if contamination has taken place or have uh, occurred Question three: uh, Give four parameters used to verify uh, microbiological media performance. Four parameters used to identify uh, or to verify microbiological media performance in the laboratory. Only four of multiple, multiple, multiple parameters we have discussed and said during this presentation. Thank you very much for attendance. And good luck. See you.